All right, so there is a new art installation that just went up, and everybody is talking about it. It's inside three public plazas downtown. It's getting so much buzz this morning. You should know the name of it, though. Prismatica. Pretty name. Yeah. It's 25 interactive kaleidoscopes. They are brightening up parts of lower Manhattan and Fox Flies. Crystal Young, checking it out. What's going on, Crystal? It's beautiful. You know what? They are absolutely lovely. There are 25 of them. They're almost eight feet tall. I am standing in front of one that is at 77 Water Street. A lot of people are stopping to check them out. They're taking Instagram photos and Instagram stories. If we pan over here, we have Lucas, who has been interacting with them all morning. Now, you just stand, you look in them. They are actually covered with a film that helps these kaleidoscopes reflect every color of the rainbow. So there is going to be an official kickoff party to welcome them to Lower Manhattan today at 5 o'clock. I'm here with Jessica Lappin. She's the president of the Downtown Alliance who helped get them here. By the way, did I say that they've already been to a bunch of different cities like Boston and D.C., Arizona? Good morning, Jessica. Oh, good morning. All right. So tell me why you thought it was important to bring these down here. I feel like like it's cool just to get people off of their cell phones and looking up and interacting with something. That's right, to pause for a moment. And we wanted to bring some whimsy, some fun, some light to Water Street, especially this time of year where it's still winter, uh, and to, to really try to bring some fun to this to this corridor. Gotcha. Now, what is going to happen at 5 o'clock? Between 5 and 6, if people in the area, they can stop by. You're sort of officially welcoming them. We are. The community will be gathering. There are 100,000 people who work here. Millions of people who take the ferry down the block, so we hope they'll pause, have some cocoa and cookies, and celebrate with us. Gotcha. And I understand that they look completely different at night. They do. So they're lit from within, but obviously during the day when they're reflecting the sunlight, it's a very different experience than at night. I think they're beautiful in the evening. Fabulous. Okay. Well, you have to come on down and check it out for yourself. Get a couple of Instagram photos. You actually can see yourself in them before you snap the photo. So that's a good thing. You know, you can like get yourself together. Then you snap, you know, it's the perfect photo. They're going to be around until April 21st. If you are anywhere in lower Manhattan, come check them out because they're fun and you'll have everyone talking about your Instagram and your Facebook and your Twitter and all that after you take the photos and it will get you off of your cell phone and just having fun win-win okay ladies back to you in the studio all right worth taking a look Thank you, Chris. Did she say get off your cell phone but use it to post on social media? <laughs> I'm confused, Crystal. I think use you've been it, looking. Don't use it. I think she's been looking through the prism too much and like she's gone cuckoo. <laughs> anyway, good day, New York. Could be right back.